I'm going to talk about creativity spice for tech savvy. Please enjoy. Let's talk about who am I first. Um, my name is Chong Ko. I'm AI product manager in Munich, Germany. Right now, I'm working among uh, AI engineers, software engineers, and interactive designers. And I used to work as a data scientist in Florence, Italy. Um, my background is um, I got a master's degree in business analytics and big data from Milan, Italy. So let's get back to our uh, topic for today. We are going to talk about a creativity, creativity spice soon, but I want everyone here to step back and think about a day in a life as a programmer. Uh, as you can see that we take most of the time researching, running code, and fixing bugs. So we always <laughs> in front of the computer, always taking, um, taking care of writing codes and also try to uh, fixing what is happening in the technological world. So this is um, basically what we are doing right now. This is my experience uh, just for disclaimer. Okay, so I want you everyone just to think that, okay, now we are in the same pace and we are having this common. So what are our strengths, our skills and competency? So, mm, let's have a look first. Mm, I can do programming, right? Mm, let's say Python for sure. Okay, so what's next? Systems design, yeah, I think I can do architecture design. Mm, for designing database, ah, okay. And what else that I can do? Hmm, I think I can do the project management. Hmm, that's uh, what I think I can. And I usually deliver successful projects as well. So um, this is pretty much uh, my strengths right now. And I feel very confident with it. So let's talk about our topic for today. How can we put some spice in your strength. So it means that you can have a broader um, vision and have more uh, uh, skills in your strength, not only for the organization, but also for your personal growth. So it's time to think creative. Hmm. And how can I start? I am a programmer. I don't think that creativity is for me. I think doing uh, programming is enough and I'm comfortable with uh, doing programming. So here I'm helping you where to start. Just minutes in your day can create a big difference. I'm sure that um, you can, you may feel that you are scared of doing this or you are not um, feeling comfortable to do it, but I'm here to help you. And I know that um, you can take a step and uh, be a leader in the future, especially we are in this period of time. So first of all, go out and get inspired. Uh, you can go to the events like this amazing event right now or read different books so that you have a broader uh, understanding of different aspects of life. And maybe you can have the experience design, UX design. It is very common right now and it's very popular. So you can find some resource everywhere. You can go out and think that, okay, this, uh, this door or this pathway can be improved. This can be also UX experience design. So 
how can we improve that and how can we improve emotion to this kind of uh, experience basically you just uh, try to think how to make everything better and not only uh, the functional but also emotionally and lastly it can be also your hobby as well um, for example i enjoy playing guitar so i would think that this kind of uh, hobby that i'm doing can help me grow in uh, my work as well so you will feel a little bit bit confused right now why I'm talking about this and how is it related to uh, my work and also my creativity you might feel like a little bit confused but now I'm going to show you what can be connect so you just go out and try to think a little bit by using the post-it on your desk and try to um connect the dot that how can it uh, improve to my work or uh, how can make my work more effectively so you can um, order it by using the impact that this is a very high impact to my work and this can create a low impact of my work this uh this thing can help you not only for your work but also can affect to your um, colleagues as well. So it can not only help you to think more, ideate more, but also help you to uh, make it everything, not only your work, but also your connections with your friend better. So when you are finished with their uh, post it or try to connect the dot, it's time for you to do experiments. Like fixing code, you need to run it until it works. So uh, basically you can do the low fidelity uh, prototype or uh, any kind of experiment you can think of and try to do it. For example, this is uh, not low fidelity, but uh, try to make it real and try to experiment, test it whether it's going to work or not. It is, um, may look like very hard, but to be honest, it's very simple. You can make the uh, paper prototype or you can make a very simple, uh, simple and cheap prototype as well. And in conclusion, uh, I feel like if you can think out of the box and you take the risk for yourself, you can have a huge impact and make it more valuable, not only to yourself, but also the organization. For example, this one, if you can think that, okay, maybe this one have different kind of colors so that you will have more user engagement this is also part of UX design or user experience design. And also, if you think that, hmm, my hobby is playing guitar, how about putting um, the sound of uh, any kind of guitar in uh, my prototype or my work? It could create a, maybe not very high impact, but create a, huge step for you i believe that not only um not only you but also your friends your family will supporting this and you can take a risk no matter how much uh you are scared of but i'm pretty sure that you can do it and you just are willing to take a step and also have a confidence with doing this. Um, I'm happy that you are here. This is a very good step for doing the experiment. So right now, just try to connect the dot, everything in your life and try to make a, a low fidelity pro prototype and make an impact to your organization and also your personal growth. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.